The State Department is now warning Americans to avoid all international travel. Those currently out of the country have been urged to return immediately, but it's not that simple, according to Americans stuck in Peru and Morocco. They had police guarding the gates and um, said they I went up to try to talk to them and they said, you know, all the flights are canceled. You can't come in unless you have a ticket for tonight. We're really relying on media at this point to show that there are U.S. citizens that are desperately trying to get home. We want to make sure we're advocating for the other U.S. citizens that are here that, you know, might be running out of medication or they have children they need to get back to. Boy, this comes as FEMA is taking charge of the federal response to the coronavirus. Only on CBS This Morning, FEMA Administrator, that's Peter Gaynor, joins us to discuss. Good morning to you, Mr. Gaynor. President Good morning, Trump Gail. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. We're all worried about everybody else. President Trump says he's now fully engaged at the highest level, that FEMA is fully engaged. So what specifically, what specifically rather, is FEMA doing to help? Uh, yesterday, uh, we began to take over for uh, full operations, coordinating the entire federal effort uh, here in the National Response Coordination Center. Uh, we combined uh, Secretary Azar's uh, operation center, the, the SOC, uh, here yesterday. So uh, all of government is under one roof. Uh, we're social distancing, and uh, we're throughout the entire building. We're teleworking to make sure that we can uh, do this uh, or respond to this virus in, in the long haul because it's going to be a long battle. So Gaynor, what's, your, what's your top priority and what specifically are you, does this mean when you said we're all together under one roof? What are you guys doing? Well, my, my top priority is protecting my workforce and protecting the American people. So I got to do both at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, the second priority is making sure that uh, we can respond to the coronavirus uh, like we are today. Uh, and we, we need to do that for the, the long haul. Uh, we have many priorities uh, that we're working on today to include uh, supply chain management, making sure we get those uh, requests filled by governors across the country, uh, and many, many other things uh, that we're trying to uh, untangle and make better connections. Mr. Gainer, we're used to seeing FEMA uh, providing supplies and, and shelter in, in natural disasters. Are you equipped to handle a pandemic? Uh, we are. We're ready every day. Uh, so whether it's a pandemic or it's a hurricane, uh, FEMA is ready. And it's just not FEMA. Uh, it is really the whole of government. Uh, I have at my disposal every single federal agency, uh, partners, uh, uh, commercial partners. Uh, there's, there's nothing in my way from coordinating, uh, and, and we're ready for today, uh, and we want to be, be ready for uh, where we are in, in two weeks, uh, and we're ready for a uh, natural disaster. So we're doing uh, both things simultaneously. Mr. Gaynor, could you put a little more uh, meat on these promises and these specifics here? Uh, uh, what kind of equipment are uh, supply chain management are you working on? I mean, let's take testing, for example. Uh, we know that tests need to be uh, distributed. More people need to take them. Are you coordinating that effort? We are, along with my uh, medical expertise partners, HHS. Uh, we're working on everything from uh, testing kits to swabs uh, to PPE, uh, you name it. Uh, it. When it's in demand, it's in demand by every single uh, governor uh, across the uh, United States. Uh, we're trying to make sure that we have a, a way to prioritize uh, needs uh, based on requests, based on risk, based on we think where it's going to be today and where we think it's going to be tomorrow. So all those things are factors. There's enough heartbreak to go around. We've all heard the stories. But in particular, we did a story here the other day, Peter, about the health care workers that will break your heart, where they're saying we just don't have the supplies we need to help the people that need it. Is FEMA doing anything to help them to make sure they get everything that's available to them? Well, well, again, I think one of the one of the best things we did is we we combined operations. We tried to streamline the process. Uh, so whether it's a healthcare uh, uh, director in a state or it's an emergency management director in a state, those two things are combined. So all those resource requests are coming here to the NRCC, and we are uh, validating and and trying to fill every single need. However, uh, this is a shared responsibility. It needs to be locally executed, state managed, and fairly supported. Uh, the only way we're going to beat this is we do it together. Mm -hmm. All right, FEMA Administrator Paul Gaynor, thank you very much for joining us this morning.